What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is 9446 Network, back with another Diecast review. And today, we are going to be looking at Chase Elliott's 2021 A-Shock Performance Energy Chevrolet Silverado for GMS Racing, the Atlanta Motor Speedway truck for Chase Elliott from 2021, who finished second in that race. So without further ado, let's get this truck out of the package and ready to review. So here it is, folks, straight away. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel and are liking them as we are putting out a lot of content this summer. So over to the front of the truck, you got number 24, Silverado GMS, Chevrolet Silverado RST with the grill opening right there. You got A-Shock Performance Energy Camping World Truck Series banner right there. Simpson, Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Race Truck, Mobile One, ARP, Cosmetic, the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series logo, Holly EFI, Tilton, Caligo, and another sponsor I cannot read right there. Number 24, Chase Elliott, Chevrolet, GMS, and another special GMS logo right there. That's also on a couple 124 trucks that I have. You got A-Shox A right there. Very, very sharp looking. C-Tech, Mobile One, GMS. Oh, wow. That is a lot to ask for to have a Hendrick Motorsports driver who has a partnership with Valvoline to have a Mobile One logo on the truck. Simply incredible. So we got Mobile One right there, GMS, Permatex, Honda. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got Mechanics for Miller 3M and a couple other logos that I cannot read. Uh, you got A-Shock, Performance Energy, 7-Eleven. That's pretty cool to have a 7-Eleven sponsor diecast. I have a 7-Eleven Indy car from a while ago. You got A-Shock, Performance Energy, Silverado, Chevrolet, RST, uh, number 24, Chevrolet, and... Whoop. We're going to flip the truck over because that's the way the sponsor put their logo on. Chevrolet right there on the spoiler. A Chase Elliott uh, championship commemorative can for A-Shock being sold at 7-Eleven. And flip it back over. Chevrolet. No sponsor on the roof. All you have is the brake light and the number 24. So for this paint scheme, it is like the Cup car. The Cup Series race car. But we're going to review the paint scheme again since I never got to review that die cast. Which we will compare it to in a little while. So over to the front, you have the highlights around the headlights, just like on the Cup Series car. The Dirt car had none of that, by the way, I don't think. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I didn't see it very well. But usually this template, this A-Shock black and red template, comes with the outline on the headlights, no matter what series you're running. So that's really cool to have that. And across the side, of course, you have that sharp pattern. You got two stripes right there with the black in between. Then you have the red, and it has a streak of black. And it just very jagged edges on this paint scheme. Uh, and of course, the red continues all the way across the side towards the back. And the other side would be the same. Of course, the little exhaust hole right there. And the top part of the paint scheme is all black. From the front towards the spoiler and the splitter, it's all black. A very, very nice matte black. The number on it uh, for the roof, you have another black shadow behind a thin red outline. And of course, the white outline with the red number fill in. And on the side, it's pretty much an all-black version of it with the black shadow, black number filling, and of course the thin white outline to it. Very, very cool looking design. And we are going to compare this to the NASCAR Cup Series car. I can get it out of the, the packaging. Here we are. And of course, this die cast has a couple of races on it, so that's why it looks a little bit dusty, a little bit worn, but we could still do, do the comparison. So as you can see, of course, the Cup Series Camaro has more outlines you can put. That's why the headlights are more covered up on that one. And, of course, the bottom half. It's like a face mask, which is why I love this scheme. Over to the hood. Of course, you have minimum wrap on the Chevy for the outlines. On the hood, you got the different size logos to fit the particular vehicle. As you can see, very, very much the same paint scheme. Except on the Cup Series car, you have a black deck lid versus the truck has the black bed and of course they're both matte and of course the red on both of these vehicles are glossy the decals themselves are glossy but the paint the spray coat is all matte black as you can see in the back it's red on this truck and it's black on the elliott um because that's what hendrick motorsports does black bumpers for the corvette tributes and of course they both have black splitters and black spoilers and of course, the number font is different. You got the Hendrick number 9 versus the how the 24 looks on the truck version, as you can see. Very, very close comparison, of course. 
However, the, this looks a lot different due to the font. It's got more shadows and stuff to it. The number nine is just a basic white outline with a red number fill in. But of course, as much as I love that die cast and love using it in the Flash Racing Cup, this video is about the A-Shock truck. Both of these die cast vehicles and of course in real life would look cool with the red spoiler. I really think that would be amazing for them to have done. Or the red rims, I should say. The red rims, yes. Even though a red spoiler would be cool. Uh, but very, very cool paint scheme nonetheless. My favorite paint scheme of 2021. <laughs> because this is a really awesome paint scheme. Uh, I, this is... I know the new one came out. And it looks like the Lumar car. <laughs> this really does look like a recolored Lumar car. Kind of wish they just kept it the same. But you know what is what it is. You got to change your branding at some point. And they changed all of this. The hood logo is different. At Talladega, they really changed the crap out of this paint scheme. The ever-living crap out of the font. And added, of course, the 7-Eleven and stuff. But man, what a weekend for Atlanta, having the truck and the cup car run. That's very cool. Of course, Elliot's name, and it's a cup leech die cast. And speaking of cu cup leech stuff, Kyle Busch just won the Truck Sonoma race as of this filming. So that's another win for the Truck Series leeches. Without further ado, that has been the review of Chase Elliott's 2021 A-Shock Performance Energy Chevy Silverado for GMS. A very good deal. Okay, a very, very good truck to get. Um, to add it to your collection. There have been, let's see how many Chase Alley trucks we got. The Charlotte win, the HendrickCars.com, and this truck. And I don't, oh yeah, the Hooters too. There's four different trucks. This would be, I'm, I'm assuming this would be like the fifth one. I don't know, I gotta count. I collect Chase Elliott stuff, so I kind of like to, you know, keep track of that. But this is another truck. I highly doubt this makes it authentic. In fact, it never will due to the energy drink sponsorship. Uh, I really like this paint scheme. I think it's really obvious. I have a 124 of the cup car. The only thing I don't have for this is the dirt car because it's A, it's too expensive, and B, I've never collected dirt cars before and would have a hard time reviewing it. So that's why all I have is the cup and truck and the 124 cup car. Really cool paint scheme. One of my favorites um, in my collection. Um, I remember when this first came out and I was a Night Owl fan and then I saw this amazing paint scheme like this one. I was like, man, I don't know which car is better, the Night Owl or the A-Shock. And I started to like the A-Shock a little bit more. And believe it or not, I found it a lot easier than the Night Owl car, which is the rarest Chase Elliott paint scheme of all time. But without further ado, that has been the truck review. Thank you guys for check checking this video out. Comment, like, and subscribe for more die cast reviews. And the Flash Racing Cup Series. And of course, Darlington. Stay tuned for that. That recording is coming up really soon. Hopefully it'll be out. If not soon, then maybe in a couple weeks, there's all plenty of time to get reviews out and videos and races. And stay tuned for whatever Philip, my cousin Philip, channel owner, stay tuned. He might be posting cool stuff up, so keep an eye on that. And we'll see you guys in the next Cash review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next Cash review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals in your diecast.